Hi everyone, this evening we're playing Last Eagles of the Battle of Lini uh, from Hexasim and this is scenario number one. It is the battle for Sonamand uh, stroke Lahi and uh, it's only a four turn scenario so it'll be quite quite quick to play. Um, it's on this absolutely gorgeous sort of, the, the actual game comes with two maps. Um, for the main the main course event um, and on the reverse of those two maps you have the first two scenarios this is scenario number one and on the other map you get scenario number two but the map is absolutely gorgeous there's a little bit of flare so I apologize for that for them from the lights um, but yes yeah, only four turns and we've got some uh, French units here from the third core at the bottom of the map um, and then we've got um, the opposing forces and um, there are some uh, nice uh, town hexes and some victory hexes here it's quite an interesting victory point system this because um, you can bring in some reinforcements um, per turn for uh, not for the French but um, and um, they, you have to pay victory points for that um, so I will be, I'll probably be doing some of that, um, and we'll see how it works out. From from experience, this doesn't take very long to play. So, and as you can see, it's got these lovely oversized hexes for the counters. Looks absolutely great. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll see how uh, we'll see how the uh, the story unfolds. Just completed the first turn, and as you can see, the French have been able to get into position, good positions here, to. Um, attack the different Prussian uh, units defending these hexes however here the they were just out of command range so we had to roll and um, they have all the, the French haven't uh, sorted themselves out and they're not in a good position yet so hopefully they'll rectify that uh, the Prussians have brought on some extra reinforcements and um, we'll see how it's quite an interesting rule with these, um, so we'll talk. We'll sort of take it a turn by turn case to see if they keep bringing more reinforcements on or not. But yeah, after after sort of a dramatic start already, there's been cannon fire and attacking the different hexes already. No great uh, impact yet, but uh, they're sort of getting into position, ready to attack again. By the end of the second turn, the um, French were able to secure this crossroads here, which was not an objective opens up a lot of opportunities for them. They were not able to secure this hex here. They were able to secure this area here, uh, but, and I don't think they're on camera, just maybe this one, they do. They did lose quite a few units uh, routing away from this area here. This was a hard, a very hard fought area here. But conversely, they've managed to make some progress towards the top here. The Prussians have been able to sort of hold on and defend everything apart from this area and decided not to bring in any uh, reinforcements in that turn, but probably will do so in turn number three. At the end of that turn, the French have made quite good progress. They have um, they have this hex here and they have this hex here. They also have, uh, I think you can just see it on camera, um, this sort of top hex here. They're moving along this road here to engage the Prussians from there. And they've managed to dislodge the Prussians from these hexes here. Prussians have got some routing units, I think, just on camera. And the French have, have plenty of units route off down here, which are off camera. And... Uh, the Prussians do have some reinforcements coming on to the battlefield here, though, and we'll um, we're going to be playing the French, trying to now um, capture this chateau uh, just here, um, and the Prussians are going to see if they can drive the French out from these uh, hexes that the uh, French have been able to take. So how the game finished up. Very fierce fighting for this hex here. The Prussians were able to take it, though, and recapture it. 
This swapped several hands several times during the course of the game. They were very close to recapturing this hex in fairness, but just some unlucky die rolls um, stopped them from doing so. Um, and then uh, sort of key objectives throughout the rest of the game. So the French were able to m make good on this road here and engage the Prussians. The French did capture these are not victory hexes, but the French were able to sort of hold this crossroads, which is one of the key points I feel of the battle. Um, so yeah, really close, lots of drama. This is a fun scenario, um, and whilst it doesn't have the grander sort of two map um, scenario, I think it is a very focused, very engaging uh, scenario to play in an evening. And you can play this comfortably in an evening. It's not a huge number of turns, not a huge number of activations, and I really enjoyed it. Very dramatic and lots of narrative. Um, so yeah, highly recommended. Um, in terms of the victory points, it was a Prussian victory. But I would say it was a hard-fought Prussian victory um, and a lot of bitter fighting in these town areas here. The the map and the counters look awesome. It is a great um, series. This is one of my favourite Napoleonic series of games. So a very enjoyable wargaming evening. Um, and uh, thanks for watching as ever. Thank you.